Hey guys, today I want to talk about what to pack in your hospital bag. Now when I packed my very first bag, I had this crazy idea that I was going to be catching up with some much needed reading. So I put a whole pile of mystery novels, I kid you not, into the bag in case I had some time to read. Well, guess what? I didn't have any time to read and my bag was very heavy. So I want to give you all my expertise about all the years and all the hospital bags I've packed to tell you what you really need. Moisturizing stick. Now, I know it sounds really random and you probably can't imagine wanting to moisturize your lips while you're in hospital, but a lot of people do get dry or cracked lips while they're delivering and it can be very distracting and aggravating when you're trying to push your baby out but you also have cracked and painful lips. So the moisturizing stick can really come in handy. Hair ties. If you're anything like me, you're probably losing hair ties all the time. Now, I was going to the delivery room with the idea they're going to keep my long flowing locks long and flowing so they look all pretty for the pictures. But every single time I end up wanting to tie my hair back and I've lost my hair tie. So going to the hospital with a whole pile around your wrist and a whole pile in your bag will stand you in good stead when you feel like tying that hair back. Snacks. Now you're going to need snacks for two good reasons. The first is even though you can't eat during delivery, your partner can and they need to keep their energy up, I promise you. So having some snacks for them is a great idea. Second of all, after you've delivered, you are gonna be starving. Now hospital food is not exactly known to be super tasty, and for whatever reason, hospital cafes are also definitely not super tasty. So you're gonna wanna have the things that make you feel really good on hand so you can eat them post-delivery. Comfortable clothes. Now obviously you're gonna need comfortable clothes. I know you guys already know that. But the thing is, what type of comfortable clothes? What a lot of people don't know is you're still gonna look around five to six months pregnant after you delivered. But your belly's not gonna be hard and round and smooth anymore. It's gonna be a little bit lumpy and a little bit saggy. Don't worry, I promise you that will go over time. But right after you've delivered, you're gonna to wanna to have clothes that make you feel comfortable but also confident. Some of the maternity clothes with side cinching are not going to look that great anymore. So clothes that button up that are easy for nursing but are also forgiving are a really great idea. I love pajamas. Pajamas button up and down so you can nurse really easily and they're really presentable for when you have visitors. Nursing bras. If you're planning on nursing, it's a good idea to bring one or two nursing bras to the hospital, but you really don't need to bring a whole pile. The thing is, you're probably going to be naked for a good portion of your visit to the hospital underneath the hospital gown. You know what I meant naked, like naked, naked. Not naked, naked. Just naked under the hospital gown. And you're not really going to need a bra. When you change into your clothes and you start to get up and start moving about, you might want to put on a nursing bra. But you're not going to be in the hospital very long, so you don't need to bring loads with you. Flip-flops. Flip-flops or some other shoe that's easy for you to get on and off are a really great idea. First of all, so you don't have to bend down and up when you're getting out of bed, but also so you can wear something as you're going into a hospital bathroom. The facts are, it just doesn't feel that comfortable or nice being barefoot on a hospital floor. So having a shoe easy at hand, like a flip-flop, is a great idea. Mini grooming kit. Bring a little grooming kit for both you and for your baby. For you, it's really just about creature comfort. So if you have your favorite creams or your favorite shampoo or conditioner, make sure you bring those to the hospital. But for your baby, a lot of babies are born with their nails a little bit rough and a little bit long. And it's great to have a baby file so you can file those nails down so they don't scratch their face. Underwear. Now I can hear you probably laughing at home thinking, of course I'm gonna bring underwear to the hospital. I always bring underwear when I go and stay somewhere overnight. But the type of underwear I'm talking about is underwear you don't mind throwing away. The thing is, and maybe your mom didn't tell you or your best friend kind of edited this part out, the chances are you'll probably still be leaking a little bit, maybe even some blood, after you've had your baby. And the hospital will give you pads and they'll give you kind of disposable underwear to use, but they're really, really flimsy. And you may be more comfortable having a big pair of white granny panties to hold it all in. I did. And then you can just throw it away and not worry about it. Cell phone charger. This is kind of obvious, and I'm sure you intend to bring it, but it's one of those things that's very easy to forget. So this is just an extra little reminder, don't forget your cell phone charger. Something to take notes on. Whether it's a good old fashioned notepad and paper or a tablet, make sure you have something with you that you can take notes on easily. You're gonna to wanna to record how often your baby feeds and for how long, and also how many wet and dirty diapers they're having. 
You're also going to want to write down a lot of the information your hospital is going to be giving you that you may forget because let's face it, you're going to be tired and you're going to be getting a lot of information. So really write all that stuff down so you can review it later. And then in addition to that, you might just want to write down some of the amazing thoughts and feelings you're having because it's a really wonderful time. The number of a really good lactation consultant. Many hospitals now have great lactation consultants, but you may feel more comfortable with one that one of your friends have had a great experience with or you've already got to know. Now, often breastfeeding problems can start in the hospital, so I'm a big believer, whether you're having a difficulty or not, is to have your lactation consultant come and visit you and make sure you're doing it correctly before the problems arise. That way, you'll be off to a great start. Going home outfit for baby and for you. Now, going a home outfit for you just needs to be something that's comfortable, but also keeps in mind that you're probably still going to seem around five to six months pregnant. So you just want something really comfortable that makes you feel good. Now, for your baby, this is that wonderful time when you get to put them in your first outfit. There's a couple things to keep in mind. Your hospital will probably put your baby in a diaper and a kimono top and a hat. So while your baby is in hospital, you might want to bring some extra socks, maybe some swaddle cloths for your baby. Now when you're taking your baby home, you can really dress them in anything you want, but you're going to want it to be really comfortable and soft and easy to be put on. Because I'm telling you, no matter how big your baby is when they're born, they always seem tiny when you put on that first outfit and it can be really tricky to get all the arms and legs in. So keep it simple, but keep it really sweet. While you're in the hospital, the hospital is going to provide all the wipes and all the diapers that you're going to need. And they're also going to put your baby in a diaper, in a kimono top, and with a hat. So you really need to bring very little in the way of supplies for the baby. That's all for when you get home. Now if you forget anything, don't worry. Your partner can always go out and get it for you. And I know it's going to sound so corny. It really is, and I can't phrase it any other way. But the truth is, none of it really matters. As long as you're all together, you and your baby, you have what you need. Follow me at Rosie Pope for more useful information or go to rosiepope.com and if you have ideas for videos you want me to make, just let me know.